Welcome back to another episode of Locked on Hoops with myself, Ben, and Jamel. Yo, yo. And, yep. Uh, right in the in the thick of the playoffs. Uh, WNBA just started. And then we got, uh, you know, other uh, news and notes around the NBA. So ready to get into it. Yes, sir. You know, um, my Chicago Sky... I'm about to be season ticket holders to them. They they got Isabel Harrison, Angel Reese, and a few others. Uh, you know, I'm just really excited that the WNBA finally got some buzz for a change. Yeah, yeah. Now I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, they they got some uh, they got some players over there uh, for sure. Mm -hmm. And then they got the uh, I think her name is Camila. Uh, drawing a blank on her name. I'll see if I can look it up. But she was on the... Yeah, Cordoza. Cordoza. There you go. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they got some, uh, some uh, lookers over there. Yes, sir. I'm about to be like Quincy McCall on, um, what was it, Love and Basketball. <laughs> Love and Basketball. Doing the same court side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'm, man, I'm about to be one of them. Man. <laughs> I'm about to get flowed out somewhere. <laughs> hey, man, I, hey, I hear you. I hear you, man. They, they, there's an opportunity out there for you. Mm -hmm. And then, like, like um, now more than ever, after I've seen some of them skims ad, and I'm like, oh, wow, okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, now now you really see what's going on. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> I know, but um, before the, before, the, before the horny police come and get me, uh, you know, this skims marketing ad is pretty good for the league. I mean, like, Honestly, I didn't know what Skims was until a couple of days ago, and uh, and now that's and now that's all you're seeing. Like you seen Kim K pulling up to the La Sparks game, her and Northwest. They was in the locker room yesterday. Like all the social, all the social media buzz that received, and um, like the WNBA, they need all all the positive marketing that they can get right now. Yeah, and yeah, it's a good buzz for them, you know. Skims and underwear aside, uh, they just got the the they just got the AOK -okay to you know to finally get charter flights so they can start sharing the airspace with bums like you and I. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that 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 was definitely a, a needed change, buddy. Yeah, I think, man, that Skims ad is definitely uh, getting a lot of looks i mean and if you're if you're a uh, athletic woman or if you are somebody that likes uh that type of wear the wnba man it, it's it's a good look for them they they need all like you said they need all the publicity they can get hey ben uh i hear your tone about the skims don't get divorced over there <laughs> yeah 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 I, <laughs> hey, I have to i have to upload this one later at night so uh <laughs> You you better delete them photos before Mrs. Ben come in. Um, go through that phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I may not. I might not hand it over. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, speaking of deleting right now, the Timberwolves, as of this recording, you know, as of now, actually in the second quarter, you know, they're facing the brink of elimination. Ant Man is going off as usual, and they're up right now, thirty five twenty four. With eight minutes left in the second quarter, you know, uh, against the Nuggets, like Ben. So, like, what are your thoughts on on this series so far? Man, I feel like it's been so uh, back and forth. You know, it was heavy Minnesota, like you said, Ant Man was going off. The, the Jordan comparisons was coming in. It was like, oh man, this is about to be a a gentleman sweep. And then next thing you know, things get get uh, flipped in the other direction. And uh, I think I think this is going to go seven, and I'm I'm leaning towards Minnesota. I think this is, uh, you know, they've shown that they could they could beat this team. Uh, so I'm leaning towards Minnesota, but this has been a, a, a not a very confident series on who's going to win. Yes, yeah, sir. Like the Wolves, that was my pick to win in seven, and like I don't want to flip flop, so I'm just going to ride it out with them. But I'm um, like, what did Rudy Gobert do to Jokic? Cause that last game, I don't I, know. <laughs> like Jesus. Yeah, man, he he was, hey, he was roasting them. 
the four time defensive player of the like that was the defensive player of the year. Like Jokic took something serious, like he took something personally over there. And then yeah. like, and then like the conversation was like, uh, all right, Rudy can't guard Jokic um outside the paint. Like Jokic stayed in the paint the majority of the game, and it just had dude in the spin cycle. Yeah, yeah, man, it's it's wild. Uh, and, and Joker can can uh, turn it on, you know, really like the best of them. I mean, he's been the MVP. Obviously, we know what he can do. But maybe he was just tired of hearing the, you know, you guys are about to lose this series. And, uh, you know, in the word of, words of Kendrick, he had to tell you who he was again. Facts, man. It's it's just been a bad week for the light skins, man. You know, <laughs> Wow. You know, yeah, Drake, horrible week, man. For his life. Right about now, Rudy Gobert, like Aaron Gordon, right now is basically making making him his bitch as I'm speaking. <laughs> as I'm watching this right now. Hey, and Jamal Murray with two points, man. Not none of these. Man, this is a uh, yeah. Uh, Joker's uh, with eleven points is leading the team, but they they don't look they're, they're not playing well at all. Now, yes. obviously, it's long. It's a long game, uh, but I think Timberwolves going to get this one, and uh, we'll see. You know, and speaking of the light skins, Michael Porter Jr., he's been pretty quiet the last few games, and, like, the buckets he's been making hasn't had, like, no real impact on anything, so. Yeah, and I think he, he was one of those players, to me, that they just gave too much praise too early on. I, I don't think he's ever lived up to it. He was supposed to be the Jamal Murray or the, uh, the joker of the team, but he ends up, he's, you know, a role player at the end of the day, probably third, fourth option. I mean, like, if you take him off that team, I think he can be, like, the second option at best on, like, another team. But, you know, I think on this Nuggets team, like, that's the perfect role for him. Yeah. And, and uh, as I'm speaking again, you, you know, Nas Reed is making Rudy Gobert looking crazy right now. <laughs> Hey, uh, hey, Na, hey, Nas Reed, man, Nas Reed is is, is nice. Uh, he, he almost, I'm gonna probably have a double double by the end of the night. You know, I never noticed this till now, but he kind of looks like Remy from BMF a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I I can see that. <laughs> Just without the accent. Yeah, yeah. No, um, are you excited for America's team? Like tomorrow night, they have the opportunity to go to the conference finals for the first time in my adult life, and for the first time since I was in the summer before eighth grade. Wow, I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Uh, I I want them to finish off these Pacers, and that that man, that Nick Celtics man. We've been talking about it for the past couple of weeks. That series is gonna be wild, man. I, I honestly, I can't wait. So they just need to finish them off. Right, uh, like, they're already leading the series. You know, don't don't drag this along any further than you need to. And um, like I don't want to jinx anything by kind of speaking ahead, so I'm not even gonna say anything because like I've been down this road before. Yeah, don't do it with the Knicks. <laughs> but um, like no matter who plays the Celtics at the conference finals, like Jason Tatum, like he hasn't really had a good playoffs. Jalen Brown, he's pretty been pedestrian in this playoffs too. And like even though they had a convincing five game, you know, um win against the um the Cavs, there was stretches where I'm like, all right, people supposed to be scared of this Celtics team. And yeah. like for example, if the Knicks do play them, I mean, like for them health is gonna be you know, of importance. And like so yeah, yeah. so 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 yeah, like you were saying, they need to wrap this up as soon as possible with the with the Pacers. Like I don't even think this game, this series should have went six games to begin with. Be honest with you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Tibbs he brought back the ghost of Alex Burks. Like I like I honestly forgot he was on the team. That's how deep in his bench. <laughs> yeah, he went. He went. He went to the end. You know, and it's on that one. Up our um two way players. So like, if something else happened, I'm like, oh. Well, I guess we might as well play Jacob Toppin, who like I've been campaigning to get to for him to get some play at time because he's from the same area of Brooklyn where I'm from. So right, right. And uh looks like OG is gonna be out. 
again, according to uh, uh, ESPN, the injury report. So we'll see. Uh, but I, I don't. I think they can get past get past the Pacers, and hopefully, um, you know they'll they'll be ready. I don't know what's the status on OG. You think he's re he'll be ready by the? No, I don't think so. Like the reports yeah. were saying, like he was out for this series. Um, okay. So he went in at best, like maybe game one for the conference finals, but they was like 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 game two and like like either game two and three was more of a realistic comeback okay. for him. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, like either way, the Knicks finally got the city back on ten. You know, Ja Rule, he's been jinxing the Knicks and the Rangers. He's the only dude that can unite, you know, both blacks and whites in the cities. <laughs> Just because he's um dick riding both teams. Like I'm like, like honestly, I haven't followed him on IG or anything, but this is the first time I'm seeing him ever supporting the Knicks. And I'm damn sure this is the first time seeing him support the Rangers. I'm like, dude, like name two people on the Rangers before you throw up their um uniforms and, and um and and their trophies and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I've I, I've never seen them wearing anything or even talking about it. So uh, yeah, it, it, there's gonna be some bandwagon. There's gonna be some bandwagon fans. Please, please dudes that's gonna come out of the out of the woodworks. You know, you know, you know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I, I trust me. I already know. I already been calling people dick riders, people <laughs> in my own family. So please, like, I really take this shit seriously. Like, I've been riding with them since I was a kid, and. People just coming on the bandwagon with, within the next, I mean, with, I mean, within the last month, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you, you, you knew it was gonna happen. People, they, they see where it's going. Uh, they, they, and when they make it to the to the conference finals, it's like people gonna come out of everywhere. They're, they're about to hurry up and buy that Knicks jersey. And uh, they're gonna that's, be ready. Yep, that's the one thing like I've been bought since I was a kid, and and I still won't buy one. <laughs> not even not even a throwback, not even a Ewan. Like the Knicks jersey, like if I buy a Knicks jersey, it'll be like maybe like Latrell Sprewell, like Allen Houston from like that era, but like I'm yeah. like yeah, I'm not buying Jalen Brunson or Josh Hart. Like no disrespect to them guys, but yeah. Yeah, nah, nah. I think I think you would you would you it would look good in a Ewan jersey. I think you can go back to that. Or Allen Houston, that era. Now, definitely. I, I kind of had a love hate relationship with Patrick Ewing because dude would always mm. get T wins and then like never come through. <laughs> so, yeah, man, yeah, you yeah, you're talking too much, especially in the Jordan era, man. Don't, man, you can't be talking too much. Man. Yeah, facts, man. Yeah, people, people, people was getting way, way too confident during that, that, uh, that Jordan era, even when they, when they played the Rockets. I don't know, I, mean, I don't remember if he guaranteed a win during that oh. series. Um, I he probably did, but I I still don't remember. <laughs> that was like, a, that was a long long time ago. Hey, like, Ken, Kenny Kenny's knees was better back then. Like the one that kind of stood out, the, the the last guarantee that I know he did was like in two thousand when he was like literally on his last leg in New York. He guaranteed a win against the Pacers, and the last time they went to a conference finals, and then they lost. So, yeah, yeah, see how that went. Then I was just thinking, like the Knicks ain't been right since they traded him. Yeah, you're right. You're right about that. It's been a rocky road since then. Uh, Isaiah Thomas years. Uh, they had Marbury. They had uh, yeah, the um facts, man. Like I mean, it was facts, man. Like the Dick Riders can't even name players from the Scott Layton era, or 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 like even the Phil Jackson era for crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's it's been a minute, and it's 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 gonna be great. I'm I'm looking forward to that. I don't want to speak too soon either, but mm -hmm. I think uh, I think they will be there, and that'll be probably one of the dopest conference finals we've probably seen in in a while. And we'll we'll see how how Boston really shows up because they don't seem to show up when. I mean, like, they had no excuse not to. Like, they basically got their whole team, Porzingis, like, whether he's there or not. I mean, like, they sh like they shouldn't be a problem either way. So, yeah. Yeah. You no, know, another team who I like, who's on the cusp of making another fi conference finals, 
is the Dallas Mavericks. Like when the season began, I am I'm not gonna lie, like I didn't see this shit coming. <laughs> not a lot of people did, not even people in Dallas, especially in the middle of the season where uh Kleber was out like he is quite often. Uh they didn't really have a a, a big man that they could rely on. And then that trade deadline hit. And it was like everything went a completely different direction. So, yeah, I mean, for them to be this close, especially against the number one seed, one win away, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what what they'll do on a Saturday night. Cause they'll, and they'll be playing. Uh, I think they'll be back in Dallas. Yeah, they'll be back in Dallas. So, and it's the perfect time for them to wrap this up, so they, so they can get ready for the winner of um, Denver, and Minnesota, who should be in a Basically, a tough yeah. game series, like the way this game is going right now. Yeah, and I mean, you 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 gotta really decide who who you're gonna put your focus on because you know Kyrie's gonna do his thing, and it may not always be scoring, but you know he, he's that that floor general, that that point guard that that's able to distribute, and then you got Luca, which is. He's been, he, I think his, his whatever injury he's working, what he's dealing with, I think it's his knee. You know, is a uh, it's been an issue, but last night it didn't look like it. So I just think they, uh, they just need to battle it out and get 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 this over with because exactly. Thunder is not one of them teams you can just allow to hang around. You know, and um, Luca, he's been pretty good at baiting the refs and we're getting fouls and still complaining. Yeah, he does that way too much. Come on. Don't be like LeBron. Come on. <laughs> and then you got PJ Washington who's who's been playing like out of his mind. Like I'm not sure about his contractual status, like when he's a free agent, but dude's playing like he need a new bag. So, yeah. Yeah. And and he and he's cocky with it too. Like, you know, for him to be uh talking trash and the way he did that in the Clippers series, yeah. He he definitely needs a a new contract. I didn't know what to expect with him coming coming over, but man, he, he's been more than what I expected. Facts, man. Like he just been on the Hornets for so long. You know, he had that losing mentality attached to him, and I'm just happy. You know, he's finally in a winning situation and in his hometown, being appreciated, and he's actually, you know, helping you know Dallas, you know, get back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Gafford, man, Gafford was a was a hell of a, a signing too. I didn't, I wasn't expecting a lot there, but dude had nineteen. You know, dude was just living life on the Wizards, wasting away, and then like Dallas gave him new life too. So, yeah, yeah, and I think part of it's got to got to do with with uh, Jason Kidd. I think that uh, mm -hmm. you know, obviously his his skin's on the wall. It it, it goes far. And he's 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 got that calm demeanor, so you know anything they any situation they get into, they can bounce back. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm honestly kind of surprised he's still a coach in the Mavericks because you know the basketball guys have kind of been waiting for him too, like because like he has a lot of karma coming his way from all the coaches that he got fired. So yeah, yeah. Well, if they didn't make it, yeah, if they didn't make it to the second round, he might have been fired. So that that's that's the words that was what was going around. Yo, know, do you think he's the best coach since Rick Carlisle? Because look, Rick Carlisle, like after the eleven championship, he never made it out the first round. Jason Kidd is this, this this is what his second, his potentially second yeah. um, Western Conference Finals in the last I want to say three years was that twenty one when they went to the Conference Finals? Yeah, that was twenty one because last year they didn't make the playoffs at all. Yeah, you know, yeah, the year before. So yeah, I would say yeah. I think, and I mean, if if he can do this, go to the conference finals again, and if they could, if they can make a run for the finals. Um, I mean, Dallas, Dallas already loves Jason Kidd. They'll, they'll love him even more. Do you think Dallas can beat either Minnesota or um, Denver? I don't think they can beat Denver. I think that's that may be. I don't know who the answer for for Jokic would be. I think they could beat uh, Minnesota because they're, you know, they're up and down. You know, I think uh, but, the basketball world going to be on Dallas' side or 
they're basically going to be dig right in uh, Dallas. <laughs> They play the Celtics. I was like, I'm telling you, nobody outside of Massachusetts wants to see that shit. <laughs> yeah, Celtics. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to see that. Yeah, I I, I want to see. I want to see the Knicks come out of the East. That would be beautiful. Yeah, uh, and then the, the Mavs. I don't think that's happened. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that based on the basketball guys or based on them actually playing whoever it is. Nah, it's just based on health. They just don't have enough. Yeah. Which that I mean that that's the worst, you know, where you can make it to the to the conference finals and then you know, you got the team, but the health is the issue. And I don't I know people I want to get your thoughts on this. People talk about Tibbs and how he runs his teams into the ground. Is that do you see that with this Knicks team, or you think that's just a I mean a excuse people like to say? I mean, like, he kind of does run his, his players into the ground, but at the same time, like, like he's not getting that same result from, like, out of Josh Hart if he, if Josh Hart's playing, like, 20 minutes a game. Hmm. So, like, that's the flip side. Like, Yeah, you got to give him more, more minutes. Right, like, that's the positive I can say about Tibbs and his style of play. But at the same time, like, you know, like, there was stretches where Jalen Brunson shouldn't have been playing and, like, he's been playing and, like, he's already hurt. And I'm like, you haven't learned from Derrick Rose already? Like, yeah. Like, like who cares if you win the game by, you know, uh, 20, like, 17 and, instead of 25 points? Like, at least you won and you got your players healthy. So, right. Right. But I think he's he he's hard headed and he likes doing it his way. I mean, and if he keep, if he keeps getting head coaching jobs, I mean, he's going to continue to do that. But he's the next best coach in the last what years? The twenty five years. <laughs> so yeah, like aside from Mike, aside from Mike Woodson in the mid two thousand in the mid twenty tens, right? So you know, um, Jeff Van Gundy in in the early two thousands, like. He's been the next, the next best coach in that time. So, like Tibbs, right? Like Tibbs, right now is the savior of of New York. And like people that's talking shit right now is is either just dick riders or people who just riding the wave and just want to like be in a conversation. Like, yeah, yeah, like, just trying to find a, a way, a reason to get into the conversation. Yeah, hey, just go back to where you came from. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, get out of here. All right, so uh, kind of last last uh, topic, Caitlin Clark, who's uh, obviously in the WNBA now, playing for the Indiana Fever. And there's a lot of lot of critics on her because it's uh, not that production is not to where it is uh, compared to where she when she was at uh, Iowa. So you know, give me give me your thoughts on Caitlin Clark. Two games in, by the way. All right, so like the her first game uh, against the um, I was I was I was about to say the Suns <laughs> against the Mercury. Um, you know she had an okay shooting game, twenty points, but she also had like ten turnovers. Yeah, and she let forty plus year old Diana Taurasi shut her down. Mm. And then today is basically the same thing. Her team lost one hundred two sixty six to um the Liberty. Who's on their path to the finals? Um, I'm not sure of her stat line off the top of my head right now, but um, but yeah, like that whole game, she she had like a target on her back, and it's gonna be like that the entire oh, year. Yeah, because honestly, the players are jealous of her, but at the same time, they wouldn't be getting all this attention without her. Yeah, yeah. It, so it's 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 like a uh, we happy that you're here, but we're not oh. gonna let you. Went all over it. So and today against the Liberty in thirty minutes, she she was two for eight from the floor, one from one from seven from deep, and she had nine points. Yeah, I mean, in the in the in the bigger wow, the bigger issue is you got uh, Aaliyah Boston with twelve, and you got Samuelson with ten. Like that that team, and somebody said this, that team is not good for a reason. And now you add in Caitlin Clark is that supposed to make them better overnight? The answer is no, but I, I think she'll get better throughout the season. But it's gonna be it's gonna be tough, man. They, they're not. That's like 
the star quarterback coming into the into the league, and yeah, they're not gonna make it easy on him. It's gonna, it's gonna be hard. Yeah, like if she wasn't getting all this media uh, attention, it might not be too bad for her as far as, you know, having to target on her and like people showing her some extra love defensively. But yeah, I guess it just comes with territory. And um, and yeah. I guess the best part about it is like when I was watching the game, I seen like mostly like their arena was sold out. And somebody said the average fan attendance last year was like 4,000 fans. And they basically had two sellouts their last two home games, which has been on um, um, which has been on national TV. It's still been a hunt for me to find WNBA games. Like this game was on Amazon. Like, oh shit, I didn't even know y'all had games on Amazon. <laughs> I'm, I'm... Yeah, Amazon, uh, Ion, <laughs> NBA TV. Yeah, they they. I got it on Disney Plus. I'm like, <laughs> the yeah, hell? yeah, man. They, hey, they 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 working it, but yeah. Uh, they and they're moving them to bigger arenas. They're moving the, uh, I think they move. They're gonna move the Dallas game to uh, the American Airlines Center, I believe, or to a bigger stadium. So, I mean, it, it's 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 a benefit to them. So they need to, uh, you know, let let her get a couple buckets. All right, let her get a couple threes. Oh no, nah, But she make sure you win the game, though. like I don't think so. Like as soon as she touched the ball, they just like kinda I like, oh damn, like it was a like it was to the point where I was starting to feel bad. Like, have you seen the Olympics in ninety two when um when the USA played Croatia and like they was pressuring Tony Ku coach the entire game? Yeah, yep, yeah. That, that's pretty much the same treatment that Someone she she touched the ball, it's it's crap. I'm like, but I guess if she want to be in the um the big leagues now, she's in there, and, and um, I guess she has to pay for it. Yeah. Well, pay for it, but just deal with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I think in the, in the back of her mind, she had to have known that. You know, me could me getting paid more than almost every WNBA player before I get in the WNBA, No, oh, and, that, and, and that's and all another. that publicity. Yeah, no, nah, it's she, she knew it wasn't gonna be easy. Do you think she's gonna take ice cubes off her and play in the big three this summer? Like I've heard anything about that in the in a minute. Yeah, no, nah, I don't think so. Uh, I think she 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 probably gonna. Just continue with her, her endorsements and working on her working on her game. I don't think she would come to the big three. Wow. All right. Um, this summer, you know, Dallas might even see me sitting courtside at one of them WNBA games. You never know. Hey, Peace. maybe. Hey, yeah, come through. peace to um peace to say to. And I'll just leave it at as as at that. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know, I definitely know what you're saying. Hey, everybody go look up again. Go look up that IG. <laughs> I'll Hey, don't get divorced, please. <laughs> I'll tell them it was, it was uh, Jamel's fault. <laughs>